Hey guys, as I said in the text above, I'm literally going to be showing you today how what we think about and how what we focus on really does have an impact on how we respond to situations, how we respond as people in day-to-day -day activities, but also how it changes our mood and our emotions. For example, the first video I'm going to show you is something really, really sad. Now, if you can try and get yourself somewhat in a, in a sort of, I'll just, there we go almost a horizontal state emotionally, okay? Just literally just, you know, try and clear your mind of things just to get yourself somewhat on a normal level, okay, emotionally. So you're not sad, you're not happy, you're not um, excited, you're not so much passionate, you know, it, it's calm, okay? That's what we're looking for now, it's calm, because when we're calm, essentially like cleansing a palate, it means you can start experiencing things fresh and new. And we're gonna try this a couple of times, so, so literally just take a big breath in and let it out. And if it helps as well, close your eyes and do this. You know. Okay, and then you can do that as many times as you need to. And when you start feeling your mind starting to wander all over the place, just come back to your breathing, okay? So the first video we're going to show you is going to alter your mood in a negative way. Okay, now this is done deliberately. Stay with the video. Keep watching it because this is going to prove to you guys and show you how you can actually progress despite what's going on in your situation, your surroundings, what you're feeling. Okay, so I'll see you after this video. say life's a breath, it's come and it's gone, it's the lives that we touch, to tell who we are, it's come and gone, too, too soon. something to say, say it now, for you never know what tomorrow will bring, say I love you and hold him tight, pick up the phone, reconcile from a fight, I thought I had more time with you, always saying I will see you soon, I would say the things I said. I'd say I love you, but you know I always did. I thought I had more time with you, always saying that I will see you soon. I would say the things I seldom did. I'd say I love you, but you know I always did.
So there you go, there's the sad one. Okay, now how do you feel? Okay, even if you write down how you feel and you express it in, you know, sad, emotional, teary, drained, heavy, okay? Now what I want you to do, again, is go back to your breathing. So focus and... Okay, and what I want you to do now is to think about this next video and how that makes you feel. And again, just write down words such as however it makes you feel, okay? So again, keep watching the video, write down how you feel, and then look at the difference between the two. And I'll see you after this video.
Okay, I've got one final video that I want to show you guys, just to show you guys, and I suppose prove to you, and for you to prove to yourselves that this is actually what can dictate your life. Okay, now, remember right at the beginning, um, and a couple of weeks ago I was talking about this, one of the things that holds us, in fact, I'll just give you the list, some of the things that holds us back as people the most, social structures, fear, what we watch, what we listen to, what we read, okay? Have you ever been, as I said in the text, have you ever been around that friend that just absolutely wears you out? Because no matter what's going on, no matter how good things seem to be, they basically are just full of negativity. They can't be happy no matter what. That's their mindset. And the problem with that is you can kind of predict where their life is going to go. And they'll, they'll not be happy about anything. And the best thing, honestly, in that circumstance, when you've done all you can do, still be there for them, still care about them, but you have got to focus as well on where you want to be. And it's not really fair to have them holding you back, your family back, and what could be for you, okay? So as I said to our youth group, again, think about what you're thinking about, and I'm saying the same to you guys. Think about what you're thinking about. This is the final video, guys, and write down how this makes you feel, okay? And then I'll see you for the final message at the end of this video. Welcome back. Well, how did you get on? How do you feel now knowing that what you spend your time focusing on is literally what you kind of achieve, where you are and where, where you are in life and what's going on? So now knowing what you know, and again in the span of what, five minutes, I've managed to show you guys how when you change your thinking, you can change what's going on in here, in your heart, you can literally get excited to the point that something really cool can happen. And when it does, you're not sitting there being negative about it. You're not sitting there worrying about it. You're embracing it. One of the things that I find the most common mistake that people make is they think so much. Once they've made a decision, they want to do something, all of a sudden they start thinking of all the reasons why they shouldn't do it. Don't. I've made a decision recently and literally, that it's going to change everything. It's going to change so much going on in life, okay? And the reality is, yeah, I could sit there and I could be scared about doing it, but the reality is the motivation for doing it is a lot stronger than the motivation for staying where I am and doing what I'm already doing. Because it's fine, you can stay comfortable, you know, it's nice and easy. But if you want to go on and you want to do something better, and you want to do something more exciting, or you even want to help people more. Don't give yourself that excuse of fear, 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 worry, doubt, all these negative emotions. Say, this is what I want to do. This is how we're going to do it. And you start figuring it out. You get the right people in your life. And you guys know me well enough. This isn't some, you know, infomercial. This isn't some great promo or anything like that. This is me being genuine, okay? I've had 15 years worth of experience um, and nearly 30 years worth of experience of life, but I've had 15 years of experience in all these different areas from the highs and the lows. And now I'm applying it more and more to my life. And in turn, I'm able to teach you guys that maybe you've really wanted to do something in your life. Maybe you want to be an artist. Maybe you want to be a public speaker or you wanted to be an athlete, a dancer or something's always held you back. Well, where are you going to go from it? What are you going to do? So the reality is, I've just proven to you guys how changing your focus can literally change how you feel. So now the question is, what are you going to do about it? If you want to talk more, guys, if you want to talk about the session and, and some of the other things that are going on and some of the things that are upcoming, drop me an email. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I always love to connect with you, and I'm really, really excited. Start thinking about what you're thinking about and stop focusing on the negative and the potential for something really 
awesome to come through will actually come to reality. Okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful day and an even better week, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. God bless. <laughs>